Hi, and welcome back to Velf Creations. It's a new day, and we have new laser projects. Let's get started. You may have seen our latest short on social media. If you aren't following us yet, here's your chance. We are on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. Anyways, we use the Com Marker B 460 Watt MOPA to do a deep engraving on a wax seal stamp. But let's hit the rewind button and let you in on a little secret. This is actually what our stamp looked like. That's right, we forgot to mirror our design. In reality, the wax seal ended up being a flipped version of our logo. Some of you may also know that this means we haven't learned our lesson from our previous rubber stamp video. But that is what we are here for to make mistakes so you don't have to. First tip, always mirror your stamp designs. With that being said, let's see if we can do better. As always, we will head over to Creative Fabrica to grab a design. If you haven't heard of Creative Fabrica, we highly recommend it. Whether you are just getting started or a seasoned laser engraving expert, Creative Fabrica makes it nice and easy to find the exact design you are looking for. Check out the video description for an exclusive free trial affiliate link, and you will also help to support our channel. Now, since Christmas is just around the corner, we wanted to make a Santa-themed stamp that we can seal our envelopes with. There are so many designs to choose from, but this one looks perfect. Let's download it and head over to Lightburn to set up our project. We started by importing the design into Adobe Illustrator to remove some of the details in the middle and also updated the font. And what is the last thing that we have to do with the design? That's right, mirror it. Now we want to create a tool path for our stamp seal that we can use to position the design perfectly. Once the circle is added, we can update the size to match our blank as closely as possible. The blank that we will be using is about 25 and a half millimeters in diameter. So we will size that up. Next, we will center it to our work area, then selecting the design and the circle. We can click Align V-Center and Align H-Center to position the design perfectly. Great! Now let's get the settings set up. We are using the 110mm lens on our Com Marker 60 watt laser today, so these settings may differ depending on what laser you have. Speed. We have set to 1000, power to 100%, frequency to 30. Q-Pulse, we will leave at 200. Lines per inch we set to 800. Crosshatch is enabled and we will do 50 passes for a deeper engraving. Now let's head over to the workshop and get our material ready. We picked up this wax seal kit from Michaels, but similar ones are available on Amazon and we will have them linked in the description. This kit comes with a handle and two metal blanks. Since our design has pretty fine detail, we will go for the larger one to make it as big as possible. Our work plate on the com marker has zero engraving marks and we want to keep it that way so we like to place down a piece of stainless for protection, just in case we mess something up with setup or framing. Now we can center the metal seal blank, set the focus, frame the design, and click start. While this is engraving, let's talk about some other details of creating these blanks. As far as size goes, this is really pushing the limits on how small you can engrave something for wax seals. The wax for the letters of express mail may not fully fill the engraving, but we wanted to see what kind of detail we could get. Second, once we actually tried to use the stamp from our first engraving, we noticed that we didn't engrave deep enough. So for these settings, we did more passes, enabled crosshatch and bumped up the power. We also wanted to take a moment and give a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Your support means the world to us and helps Velf Creations keep growing. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. So if you've been enjoying the videos and haven't subscribed yet, Now's the perfect time to join the community. Subscribing is free, and it makes sure you never miss out on new content, fun projects, and creative ideas. Plus, it really helps the channel reach more people who love laser engraving and 3D printing just like you. So, hit that subscribe button, and let's keep creating together. Now for tip two. Hot off the laser, don't touch. Don't ask us how we know this. Not like we learned it from experience or anything. But as you can tell, water will immediately boil off when sprayed onto the metal, so you need to let it cool down or use some tongs to take it off. Once the piece is cool enough, it will have some burrs on it, similar to what you get when cutting metals. So we like to use a Dremel tool with a wire brush, 
This cleans it up perfectly and gives you a really nice finish that will also help it release a bit better from the wax. You may have also seen from our previous short that we use these wax sticks that light like a candle. These take kind of a long time, so we upgraded. Picked up this wax glue gun with three included wax sticks at Michael's, and it works really well. You can pick up refill packs with a bunch of different colors. Just plug it in, and a few minutes later you have wax on demand. We are by no means experts when it comes to wax seals, but we added a small dot and then pressed it down with firm pressure. It even slid around a bit, so we thought it would be a failure, but hey, that is not too bad. However, here we can see some of the really small details like the lines on the E that don't show up too well, so it is something to keep in mind when selecting your designs. For our next design, we wanted to try something that we haven't done before on the Com Marker B4, and that is a deep brass coin engraving. These are full brass, and we wanted to try something that shows how fine and detailed the engravings are off of this laser. So we hopped onto Etsy and landed on this design. We thought that it would be a good one to try, and also noticed a few other really nice designs by this shop. So if you would like us to try one of these other designs featured in a short, let us know. Great! Now that we have a design, let's hop into Lightburn and set up the engraving. We added the depth map PNG image of our coin to our work area and resized it to completely fill the brass coin. We also created a duplicate of our design. The first layer is what will do the bulk of the work and remove the most material for the engraving. The second image on top is for a cleanup pass that should remove some of the burned metal and lighten up the color. Let's hop into the engraving settings. Speed we have set to 3000 mm per second, max power set to 90%, frequency set to 30, Q pulse set to 200. Line interval we have at 0 0.025, but this ended up taking a really long time so in the future, we may lower this. Image mode is set to 3D, sliced that will produce layers based on the depth of the image, and number of passes is set to 256. Great, and now for the cleanup pass. We knew that we will probably go over the coin with a wire brush anyways, but wanted to see what the result of this additional pass would be. Speed is the same at 3000. Max power we dropped down to 30. Frequency to 100. Q pulse to 200. Same line interval and image mode. Finally, we only did 10 passes for this layer. Great, now let's send it off to the laser. We are fairly new to fiber lasers, but would love to do more engravings like this. Deep metal engravings were always something that we avoided because it takes quite some time. Even this one took an hour and 50 minutes. But we know it's because we have not optimized our settings. So for the fiber laser experts out there, we would love to hear from you what would you have done differently? Let us know in the comments. We always love learning new methods. The engraving is turning out so detailed. The laser did a great job, but we can make it even shinier by running a wire brush over the coin. We didn't want to overdo it too much because we were worried that we could lose some of the detail, so we started doing just part of the coin first to make sure we wouldn't ruin the entire thing. We quickly noticed that the wire brush was doing a great job, and we weren't losing any of the material, so we kept going and continued with the rest. As we wrap up this coin, we wanted to thank you for watching. Let us know what you thought. This video is a bit different from what we normally do. Typically, we run through tests and tests on material so we can share our final settings. But we wanted to show you our process earlier on where the parameters may not be perfect, but we learn from our mistakes to improve them for next time. And just like that, we have a beautifully engraved brass coin using our Com Marker B460 Watt MOPA laser. Again, thank you for watching and stay creative.